With the recent rise of Bells in Deepwoken, we've received multiple tools that let us re-roll and corrupt our resonance with ease, and it's honestly the best time to roll for Bells on your builds. A little while back, there were some secret behind the scenes type changes which were public, yes, but nobody really cared about them until now. I'm sure you've heard about the corrupt version of Shard Bow, which lights people on fire with burning white flames, but there's another corrupt variant that might honestly be my favorite, and it's super fun. What's up guys, it's Punchy, and today I'll be showing off one of my favorite abilities in all of Deep Woken and the massive buff it received over the past couple updates that is very unique. The Run It Back Bell, a classic Deep Woken resonance, has been around since the release of the game, I think, and it's been used for several different things. By activating Run It Back, you become fully invulnerable to any form of damage with very little drawbacks, so placing down a waypoint, you return to your original set position after running out of time, usually around 12 to 15 seconds, or if you get hit too many times. So it's very fun and pretty viable with a low cooldown as well. But the best part about our corrupt run it back bell is the crazy passive it receives during the first few seconds of the casting. After slamming down the run it back bell, the user receives full hyper armor during the first 5 seconds and on top of this we get more immortality duration because of the corruption modifier that just gives us more stats. Currently I don't have any sort of visible downside for popping my corrupted bell so the free hyper armor is just insane. Don't get me wrong, running around while taking zero damage is powerful and incentivizes hyper aggressive play styles but imagine Imagine what you can do with hyper armor and immortality, it's just, it's, it's ridiculous. Straight up, I use my bell and spam moves because I know I can swing right through and attack my enemy and they cannot do anything. It's very hard to cancel a bell like this and the best way to deal with it is just, you know, to back away. Using a build with sightless beam can be funny because it's full hyper armor and this cannot be cancelled so I walk up to them and, you know, shred them. I don't care about taking damage or getting hit because my bell allows me to ignore this and do all of it for free. There's many combos that are possible with a hyper armor build like this paired up with high damage or heavy weapons. Some people might say, oh the hyper armor is weak because it lasts for only 5 seconds, but this resonance type run it back already has a pretty low cooldown to start. Sure, I'd be happy with more hyper armor, but at that point it might not even be balanced. I love how some of these recently updated bells have more than just stat increases when they've been upgraded to the corrupt status, and we seriously need more of this instead of just, you know, basic upgrades. Anyway, that's all for now, and big videos are on the way, so keep an eye out for that. Make sure to like and subscribe and tell me down below what corrupted bell is your favorite as always have a good one it's punching time